Hi, sweetie. I'm here right now on the edge of the bed because Malcolm just came back and we've been watching the birds. And he's right here. And we've been watching the birds at the feeder. Hey, don't go anywhere, Malcolm. I'm about to read little guy a book. Don't go anywhere, sweetie pie. We're going to read a good book. We're either going to read about the spider or the turnip. I haven't decided which. You can help decide. Yeah. Okay, so we have and then see the spider. That's this one. Caldecott Honor Book. Or we have Jan Brett the Turnip. Let's see which one we're going to pick. This is the one with beautiful pictures. If you remember Jan Brett, we've read some of his books. Maybe pronounced Jan, I'm not sure because. Well, these look lovely. And then this one. Let's see. I think we'll read about the turnip first. Okay. First of all, I want to say hi. And I want to say, how are you? And I want to say, I love you. And I want to say, Malcolm is here. And Malcolm is a cat. Cat. And he's a beautiful cat. And what other words can we review? There's a bird. Bird. At the bird feeder, there's a bunch of them. been enjoying watching it. And I wonder if I put it that way if you can see them too. All the activity. I think one just arrived. There's a little chickadee on the railing. Can you see it? Okay, on with the book. On with the book. Jan Brett, the turnip. With a lovely badger family on the front and a giant turnip. And beautiful turnip pic pictures with lots of turnips here. It's not people's favorite vegetable, but it sure is pretty. Vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. Or do they do it this way? Probably this way, where the V's facing out. Vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. Jan Brett, the turnip. And look, there's a rooster, which is a male chicken on the front, and all those sunflowers. Beautiful big sunflowers. Do you remember, it, next year, by the way, I'm going to plant a whole like section of sunflowers all together, the, the big ones, like from the sunflower seeds. Do you remember, um, we just did bird. Do you remember the sign for chicken? It's like bird, but it's pecking the ground. That's chicken, chicken. And flower. Like you just have a little flower and you're smelling it. But sunflowers are big flowers. Badger Girl was weeding the vegetable patch when she saw something strange growing in the garden. That's Badger Girl. We don't have badgers here. Not that I know of. I've never seen or heard of a badger. And by here I mean around here. We do have them in the country, but we don't have them around here in Maryland. It was the biggest turnip she had ever seen. Turnip soup? Turnip pie? Badger Girl said. How delicious. It is quite a large turnip. And she is in quite a beautiful dress. I would love to garden in a dress like that. It looks comfortable and pretty and warm, but most of the time it's quite hot in the garden. But there's the top, and that's how root crops grow. Sometimes you see the top of it, and then the big rest of the root is underground. That's true for carrots and beets, too. Hear the blue jays? But that is a very large turnip. It's also nice to see the sunflowers like that. 
because that is what they look like now. They're kind of spent. They're near the end of the season, which when you're harvesting turnips is near the end of the season because it's needed a few months to grow. And they kind of fall to the ground, which makes the chickens very happy because they get to peck the seeds that are now on the ground because they love sunflowers. One autumn morning, the air turned chilly. It was time to pick the vegetables and pull up the giant turnip. But when Badger Girl got to the giant turnip, she could not pull it up. These pictures are really nice to look at. Let me see if I can hold them so you can see them. They do a really good job of showing just what it looks like. It really looks like she's picked carrots. You have that autumn feel where the garden's grown, but it's a bit tired. Farmer's a bit tired. And the plants are, um, are big. They're ready for harvest. Things are starting to turn a bit brown. And, and there's a wildness to it because... No matter how good a gardener you are, it's hard to keep up with everything. So Badger Girl could not pull up that turnip. I mean, she is really trying. Look at that. She is really trying to pull up that turnip. She can't pull it up. Let me get help. No, sorry. Let me help, Badger Boy offered. Hang on to me, and my strong arms will pull it right out. They tugged and tugged, but the turnip stayed in place. This must be a familiar story. Do you remember how we read a story about a turnip that a family couldn't pull up? But it was an African-American family in the South, and they had to get everybody in to help them. Children, Mother Badger called them. I can wrench that turn about with a twist and a snap. Watch and learn. But the turnip remained firmly rooted. Now she's trying. She's an experienced gardener. But she can't get it out. Do you remember the sign for garden? It was a good one. It is a good one. You have one hand here coming up like this and you just come up several times garden and then you remember if you're if it's referring to a person this is the symbol for person just going straight down so to signify what kind of person like gardener it would be you do garden and then like this so garden and then like this that would be gardener like me. And then a farmer. Farmer's a little bit different. Farmer's where you, um, how would it be there? I think it faces this way. Anyway, it's like this. You're, you're going along your jaw with your hand. Farm. That's farm. And farmer would be if you do that. And then like this. Back to the story. So the mother was not able to, even with the three of them trying, and a twist and a snap. Watch and learn, she said, but it still didn't work. Father Badger ambled over. You'll see how easy it is when I take over, he chortled. Nothing happened. It's lucky they haven't snapped off the top. That sometimes happens when you can't get a root vegetable out of the ground. The top snaps off, and then it's even harder to pull it out. But so far, the top's still on it, and so far it's still in the ground. No luck. Four badgers trying. I really like their clothes. You can tell it's from a faraway land because they dress differently than we dress. These are really nice clothes.
unless you get a gift from somebody that goes traveling there and they bring you back a sweater or a shirt or a kerchief or a dress like that. My grandparents would travel and they would bring me back things from Scandinavian countries. I still have a sweater that they brought back. A snowflake fell from the sky, then another and another. Once the earth froze, they wouldn't get the turnabout until spring. Yep. After fall comes winter, and in Scandinavian countries, it's further north, so snow would come a lot sooner than it does here. We don't usually get snow on the vegetable, the fall garden, but we could. We did once, but that was November. But once it snowed October 31st, 2011. Hedgie was fond of roast turnip. Did I show you this picture? I think I did. I'm losing my thoughts here. After the snow and the, their thoughts that once the earth froze, they wouldn't get the turnip out till spring. I was talking about how it doesn't snow here usually, but I still want to show you this picture again. It's kind of pretty. It's very pretty. And he's so good about the borders that he puts on his pictures. It's always framed it's in a frame of a design with other designs on the side, like trees and um, this chicken in the snow. And the Badger family, I guess, just having a nice moment together. Hedgy was fond of those turnips. I know what to do, he said. I'll stick my prickles into the turnip. We'll all hold hands and give it the heave-ho. But the turnip didn't heave or ho. So I think the younger brother came. And he says well, he'll stick his claws in and they'll all do that and then it'll come out. But no luck. I'll hold it a moment since there's so much detail to his pictures. On the side, on the bottom, on the top, and in the main picture itself. But it sure is covered with snow quickly. Do you see that? Everything in the background, that a page before was all green. And before that, Let me turn the page here. There's still the harvest time. Now covered in snow. <coughs> Mr. Ram, on his way back to town, smiled smugly. You country bumpkins don't have the right equipment. I'll hook it with my horns. Pull, pull, pull. The turnip didn't budge. The ram with his horns thought he could do it because those horns are very strong. And everybody's pushing, but no luck. The turnip is still in the ground. <clears throat> Vanya, the horse, stopped by. I am mighty strong, he whinnied. Hitch my harness to that tasty turnip and we'll be eating it mashed and salted before it gets dark. The harness jangled, but when all was settled, the giant turnip was still in the ground. Now this is amazing because a horse is very strong, and that's a big strong horse. That's a workhorse attached to a, a plow. That's not just a dressage horse or something, even though that's still very strong too. But this is a big strong horse, plus all the others still. The turnips in the ground. But look at the new borders and the new scene, even more wintry than before. Beautiful, beautiful pictures, borders. I love how they have it, the, the roosters in every picture on the side. And the pictures are all shaped like turnips. The side pictures, see? The, it's shaped like a turnip, upside down turnip. Huh, and look at the carvings. 
See how the borders are like wood carvings, and at the edge of each is a chicken? Boy, a lot of work, beautiful work went into this book. And all of this, the design here, and the wood carvings up here. This guy really does take his craftsmanship seriously, and we are the beneficiaries. Even the, even look at this, just these little side pictures, the, the, the colors as each, each line and how the colors change as you go down and then as you go up. I wonder if people love this guy's books. They are wonderful. A cocky little rooster had been watching all along. He had just had a close call with a cooking pot and was looking for a new place to live. Rooster strutted over. Make room, he crowed. He took the turnip top in his beak and pulled. And the side pictures now, it looks like there's a goat and sunflowers in the snow and a completely different border and carvings on the top and at the bottom. I bet this author's house is beautiful. If he does artwork like this for a book, his house must have beautiful things all around it, on the walls and paintings. Down in their winter den, the bins found the, the bins, sorry. Down in their winter den, the bears found the giant turnip in their bed. Up, up, and away they shouted. So the bears live underground, but their underground little home is taken up with that giant turnip. Remember on this page, we saw the bears nearby and they were kind of going into the outside of their home. Not far from where they're trying, the people are trying to get up the turnip, the badgers and other animals. Up, up and away, they shouted. Look at the beautiful mother bear in that clothing that she has. Little baby bear. And these beautiful designs again across the top and the side and the bottom. And this is a giant picture. So the edge with that coloring of the yellow into the purple is a lot smaller. And notice how the coloring is very much like turnip coloring. See that? I just noticed that. This author is so excellent. But that turnip is breaking their bed. See the frame breaking? The turnip flew out of the ground with the rooster riding high. Everybody thinks that all these big strong animals couldn't do it, but the rooster did it. But it wasn't really the rooster, it was the bears under the ground pushing it up and out. But look at all of them, surprised at the giant turnip that that little rooster pulled out of the ground when the horse and the ram and the badgers could not do it. This looks like the little baby bears in their PJs and the mama bear pushing it up. But look at the design at the top and the bottom. This is kind of like, um, I think, what was the word I was looking for? A little bit like, almost like in 30, I forgot to show you this border. Almost like mosaic tiles. <laughs> 
and wood carving. These are like wood carvings of turnips and almost like embroidery. These are beautiful. I think this is like you get a feeling for a place with long, dark winters where there's a lot of time inside to do a lot of artwork. Time for turnip pancakes browned in butter for all, Mother Badger sang out, waving her frying pan. And there they have their two-person saw to start cutting it up. Let's see. The bowl on the in the picture on the side, and the frying pan, and the saw, and everybody's around this big turnip. And it looks like mushrooms in a bowl or something. More designs on the top and the bottom. Equally beautiful. Badger Girl put out her, their best yellow chair for rooster. Soon the sizzling, crispy turnip pancakes were ready. I keep pointing out the designs along the top and the sides and the bottom, but the pictures themselves are worth spending time looking at, too. That's why I wasn't sure if I would read it to use a book this way, because it's sort of hard to hold it up to the screen and get a feel for it like you do in real, real life. But in real life, actually, this might preserve the book a little longer. Look at all those pancakes, though. That is a lot of pancakes. I'll make you turnip pancakes one time. That would be delicious. We'll have turnip pancakes. Why not? I bet they're delicious. Rooster, you are invited to stay with us as long as you wish, Father Badger announced. After all, when would we ever meet such a useful fellow again? Look at that. The rooster's in the center of this scene and welcomed into the family and their home. And he was going to be put in a soup pot, stew pot, whatever. But he got, he needed a new place to live to be safe and free. And he found it by pulling out that turnip with the help of three bears underground. I like this story. I like this version of the story a lot, a lot. I like this book a lot. This is a good, a good book. This book is a good book. A good book. I love this book and I love you. I think, oh my goodness, 23 minutes for one book. Okay, little guy, I'll sign off now. I love you to bits. But Malcolm and I have really enjoyed sharing this book with you. Bye, sweetie pie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.